Hey YouTube, um, this is a demonstration of the uh, wire clamping tool that I uh, uh, developed here based on some ideas I saw on the internet. I'm going to uh, show you how it works and uh, you can kind of see how I made it. Um, to uh, make this work, I'm going to uh, uh, put a half-inch copper pipe into a 5 8 inch hose, and then uh, and then wrap it with this uh, piece of wire that I formed, look like this. First, I'll get the wire started inside the loop here. Slip it over the end and put the wire through the holes that I made in the um, this rod that goes through it. I'll use the outside holes on this one. And push it through. I need to push it through a little further. I cut this too long. And let's trim those off. And um, I will start to uh, tighten it up here. Um, Initially, the reason I threaded this piece was to uh, put um, uh, little nuts on it to uh, clamp the wire, but found I didn't need that, so I just took it off. Keep tightening till the nose of your tool goes right into the um, uh, uh, cross piece of the wire there. When you get it kind of firmed up, uh, get your wires distributed like you want them, <clears throat> and then continue tightening. Uh, good and tight. When you get to that point, um, take your tool and wrap it over this way, and then loosen the uh, loosen the uh, tightener there and clip the wires. Then uh, I'm going to take a little more off of those. And with the screwdriver, you can punch those down. And you got a pretty good uh, tight uh, tight wrap there. I've repaired some uh, garden hoses this way, and it works really well. Except I use um, use two clamps on a garden hose. Um, also, normally I use uh, stainless wire uh, like this here, but it's kind of expensive, and uh, I'm just using this for demo. Um, I used this um, setup on um, a misting system that I made for my um, for a pre-cooler for my uh, uh, air conditioner, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how it worked for that as well, and before. Um, um, for those, I will. Uh, it's a smaller wire, smaller fitting. I'm going to use the inside holes here. So, um, um, I used these um, um, 
uh, drip irrigation tees. This is a broken one here. I'm just going to use for the demo. Uh, push it into the uh, tubing. And again, get another uh, small piece of wire, form it like that. I usually square the ends a little bit like that to keep them separate. And then get it started. Like so. Pull it up. And fit it into the uh, inner holes there. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Your taco is already. Okay, I'll be in soon. Taco or burrito? What is that? Um, I will have. Uh, I don't know, a taco, I guess. So, um,. Uh, procedure is the same. The uh, wires come over the top and then through the uh, little uh, holes here in your shaft. What is then, that, Camila? Then tighten it up. Yes, I'm making a YouTube video. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> come on, get in there. Okay, um, once you get it started, um, again, spread your wires out like you want them. Get them right over the barb of the fitting. Oops, I'm going to need to loosen that a bit to uh, get that back over the... Uh, over the barb. These small ones can be a little bit difficult. <clears throat> there you go. Can you see that? Um, how that uh, goes through the little slot in the end of the tool. Okay, um, clamp it up tight. You can see it pinching the tubing there. And then release the pressure a little bit. Oops, did that wrong. Clamp it up tight. And roll it over. Roll it over like that, release the pressure, and pinch it off. And with a screwdriver, you can uh, kind of punch them down. So, um, that's my take on the uh, wire crimping tool and uh, I got um, some ideas for some other designs and um, but this is my first try on it and it seems to work pretty well um, if you like what I did here um, take a look at my other video on the um, uh, pre-cooler for the air conditioning system thanks a lot Give me a like and uh, appreciate that. Take care. Stay safe.